Day one, Nathan, uh, your third spring camp, right? Third, yeah. Third. Uh, what is going to make, what do you hope sets this camp apart from your previous two? Uh, well, the, the, my first spring, I was really kind of filling things out. It was, you know, it was, you know, trial by error with a lot of things. I was trying to, you know, I was getting second reps and I hadn't really played in this offense before. And so I was really, a lot of things going on. Um, last year, obviously, uh, a little more experience, but I didn't get to participate. And so this year, I, I feel really comfortable with, with what we're doing, and we just got to make some little strides. And the goal for this camp is to is to really mesh with my teammates, uh, get better as a unit, uh, but then work on some things that you know we had last season uh, that we need to iron out, um, and then just be that much better uh, going into the summer. Uh, replacing some skill positions, uh, players on offense. These are those hidden reps, hidden reps this spring that that people don't. Uh, realize or, or, or appreciate when when I know a guy like you will. This is where you try to iron out the meshes with the new running backs, mm -hmm. the the footwork with the new wide receivers. Can you describe the mundane work that goes on over these five weeks and how important that is to what you hope to do next fall? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously we lost a, a lot of guys last year on on offense that uh, had a lot of reps, a lot of experience, um, and uh, I, I think we're going to be we're going to be fine in terms of the guys that we have behind them, and they're stepping up this year. I'm really comfortable with guys like uh, Jerome Buckner and Tyler Walton and um, our running backs Jake, Jake Netherton and, and Oshan, and, and I think we're, we're fine. It's just just like you said, we just we have to get reps. We have to get comfortable with one another. Um, we have to talk a lot, communicate. Um, if you know the ball is too high, what not? What do they like? And because everyone's different, uh, and that's what springs for is to iron out that out. And so in the fall, we're really clicking, and, and it's like we've been uh, you know working together for a couple of years. Just just as a reference point, how many times do you think you ran the mesh with Malik or AJ over the last two two years combined? Are we, uh, are we talking thousands? Are we talking ten thousand? You know, it, it's tough to put our actual number on it, but it's been a lot, and we were really comfortable with one another. And so if something wasn't right, we were able to fix it really quickly. How important is it to feel comfortable at the end of this new? look offensive line, the two Joes are gone, uh, Darrell's gone, and, and that, mm. those are some guys that you've had in your corner uh, the last two seasons. Uh, yeah, it's obviously it's a little bit different to not have you know the, the three of those guys because um, I mean obviously I've, in the two seasons that I've been here they've been the yeah. heart and you know, heart and soul uh, of this offensive line. Um, but I think you know uh, with the guys that I've played with you know Brett and Steven and and and, and Hagen, uh, they've had a lot of snaps and they have a lot of experience and they br they bring a certain amount of leadership. Um, Big Red Austin as well. I don't want to forget him. Um, and uh, I think that Coach Rudolph, uh, you know, bringing that a different edge to to the team. Uh, to the offensive line as well. I think the com combination of those two, um, we're really, I, I have no reason to worry that we're going to be just where we were or better. Is spring ball an opportunity to own some leadership skills for you? I know that's mm -hmm. something that you're working on last year and something you keep on working on. Yeah, absolutely. But it, I mean, it doesn't start in spring ball. It right. starts with winter, with winter training. And it's, uh, you know, bringing energy every day, encouraging the guys that need it, and making sure that they're pushing themselves to, to where they're getting better every single day. And then that just carries on through spring ball. And you kind of hone on that because it, there's a football side to it. Um, but then you, those relationships and those foundations that you build, you know, carry out throughout the rest of the season. So yeah, they, they, they're, they're, built here, they're built here and in winter, the beginning of winter. A little different having your brother going through practice with you today. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to see him. Uh, I mean, you know, he's he's been wanting this opportunity to play at this level for a long time, and uh, he's very deserving of the opportunity he got. And uh, uh, to see him come out and, and try to do it, do what, you know, being kind of where I've been at for the last couple of years is, is cool. And um, and uh, be even even better when he's a little more comfortable with what we're doing. Brothers, brothers got a hug, but brothers also got a fight. Uh, you guys hashed one out yet uh, in his three months or what, or two months since he's been on campus? No, I know because uh, I mean he's just there's a lot of things he's got to adjust to. You know, I mean it's just like when I came here my first spring, you know, I leaned on a lot of the older guys here. You know, Quentin Maxwell was a guy that I looked to a lot because um, he had been there and um, and a lot, a lot of other guys like that who just knew what was going on, where where to go eat, you know, what what we the nuances of, of the program and so. Um, I, we, I've just been helping him out, trying to figure out. He's, he's got classes. He's you know he's he's living by himself for the first time, and so um, and there's not really room for a fight right now. We just gotta <laughs> ma make sure he's comfortable. That, that'll come with in. time. Yeah, I mean, at some, a certain point he'll start he'll start you know re, you know getting here again a little bit because he, he knows what he's doing. So, um, but uh, we're, I'm glad he's here and, and it's exciting. It's a little different not having Quentin around. I mean, he's kind of been. You know, Nate and Quentin, they yeah. like one, two on the depth three years now. Is that, is that a little different? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. I mean, uh, yeah, he's he was always great in the room. We always liked him. He's a really re well-respected guy um, and really respected in the locker room as well. He was a union council member for as long as I was here. 
Um, and so yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit different. Um, uh, but I mean, just like I said, with all the other positions, you know, when we lose a guy, we, you know, we have guys there to replace him. We have good leadership in our room, and our, we have a lot of uh, cohesiveness in our in our room, and we get along really well. Is there a one little nitpicky thing that Coach Ezzy's been stressing on you since since winter camp, or is there is it just a broad view of things? Uh, is a is a lot of things. Um, you know, it's it's uh, working on my footwork in the pocket, having better pocket presence. I think that's something that I got to really work on this fall uh, or in this spring, and then you know get better in the fall. Um, and then it's it's getting to your checkdowns quicker, getting to your reads quicker. I had that one stop today where you know there was pressure in my face and could have just moved and, and found the checkdown instead of you know forcing it out there. It's first and ten. It's going to be any throwing any. Uh, picks or thing, you know, balls that could be picked off uh, in that situation. So um, there's, I think there's definitely a learning curve there. You guys have been the best, have played like the best team in the MAC most of the last two seasons. Didn't mm -hmm. get to Detroit. What do you guys? What can you guys do over this five-week period to help make sure that doesn't happen again in 2019? Uh, I mean, we we, we haven't changed changed too much about who we are. Uh, we have stressed this off season about finishing, finishing through the cones, uh, finishing the drill, finishing whatever we're starting, and, and hoping that that kind of that mantra kind of carries uh, throughout the season um, through spring ball um, and whatever we're doing. If we have a drive, we're going to finish that drive with points, uh, and then when it comes to the season, um, you know we're going to be finishing the season the way we want to. Uh, I think we did a good job of finishing that last season. Um, we just didn't win when we needed to, um, and so uh, you know we realized that the MAC, every game in the MAC is important, and we just got to be able to have you know just catch fire at the right time. And um, I, I believe in this group. I think we're going to be uh, a, a good force to be reckoned with again. Obviously, no injury, no poppy. Are you kind of spending the first couple weeks here just to try to build some chemistry with some of the newer guys that will be lining out wide this year? Uh, yeah, but I mean, again, that started, in, you know, in the, it even started when they first got here. We recognized that, you know, Drum Buck and Tyler Walton, Shane Hooks are all guys that are going to be useful to us. Uh, and it's, you know, it's my job as a guy who's been here to get them up to speed, you know, watch film whenever is possible. Um, and make sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure that they make an impact this year. I really feel that if you know, we don't use Shane Hooks this year, then that's on me because um, you know I should be helping him along whenever I can. He's going to be an asset if we use him right. Um, and, and so yeah, we lose Poppy and we lose Andrew, uh, guys that you know, we really relied on. Um, but we have to make sure that we can have we have the guys to step up, and we do. Uh, that we just we uh, we use them in the right way and they're ready to go, which I'm confident they will be. Is it hard to believe that this is your third and kind of final off season going in? Like this is your senior year. Have you thought about that yet? Has it kind of hit you? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's gone by quickly, um, especially with not playing last year, last spring. Um, and so I feel like, uh, yeah, I haven't really had a lot of springs, and a lot of guys here, um, and, you know, this is their their fifth spring around. You know, they're their fifth year senior, and and uh, and I'm gonna be a senior next year, but this is only my third spring. And so uh, I think it's gone a little bit quicker for me. Um, but I'm enjoying every minute of it, and, uh, and uh, hopefully it goes by slower rather than quick, quickly.